Basically, Chemtrails is a geoengineering program where airplanes fly at high altitudes and they spray chemicals into the atmosphere, including aluminum, barium, and strontium. And then those metals fall to the ground and they land in our bodies, on the soil, in our trees, in our food, and in our water. Many people confuse chemtrails with the normal jet contrails. The difference is that the uh, normal jet contrails actually dissipate within minutes while the heavy metals in the chemtrails cause those trails to persist for hours. And um, it's not a hypothetical thing. There are 32 states that already have legislation that's related to weather modification. The uh, U.S. agencies that are documented to be involved in it include the U.S. Air Force, the um, National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, the U.S. Department of the Interior, the National Science Foundation, and um, you know I, I know China boasted about um, using cloud seeding and weather uh, changing uh, before the 2008 Olympics in order to keep the opening ceremony dry. So that this is happening is completely documented. It's just that you have to know where to look because it's not talked about on mainstream weather reports. And um, this is where it gets controversial. And it's, it's kind of weird because even though it's factual that there are metals in the atmosphere and factual that those metals are falling to the ground, um, when you acknowledge that or question the legitimacy or the legality or the safety or the morality, it becomes controversial. And really, that's sad because if you're questioning something that has such major impact on us and on future generations and on our planet, it seems to me that it should be one of the most natural and encouraged parts of life and education. So if you're not educated about this issue, I encourage you to do some basic research and I've put some links at the bottom of this blog to help make that easy. I personally don't know anybody who is informed who isn't concerned, although the you know, range of concerns is vast. Uh, for some, it might be that they think that this is a benevolent weather modification program like putting snow on ski slopes in a bad season, but that it's inadvertently having some negative health impacts. Uh, somebody else might think that the uh, so-called solar radiation management is backfiring because the supposed idea is that you blanket the sky with these heavy metals and it reflects the sun back to itself. Um, however, it's also creating a blanket and trapping the heat in, and so they are concerned about that. Um, somebody else might think that it's a you know corporate agenda to get an upper hand on commodities trading by being able to uh, control and therefore predict the weather. And when you realize that 80% of the global economy is impacted by weather, that would certainly give someone an upper hand. Um, somebody else might just think it's a very sinister plan to um, sicken people and further control our food supply. The point is that there are any number of concerns no matter what belief system motivates you. And that's significant because I think it both validates the range of dangers um, and at the same time it informs what we can do about it. Because even for those of us who are convinced that we have a problem, our motivations and concerns vary and that means that our strategies for engagement also have to vary.